guys welcome back to my channel and another video from me today is going to be a little bit of a chit chat video and I'm sitting outside here in my garden so if there are any noises wind noises and you know people talking I'm sorry for that but I just felt like sitting out in the nature so a lot of people have been asking me about what it's like to live in Africa uh, my experiences so far and if I have any advice so I thought I should shoot this video for you guys so there are so many different reasons to why I chose to come to Tanzania and uh, number one thing is because I have roots in Tanzania both my mother and father are Tanzanian and are born and raised here so that's where I have my roots and that was just naturally the country that I uh, gravitated to and chose to move to So the biggest reason to why I moved to Tanzania is that for years I've had this idea or I've dreamt of one day coming to the motherland and just live here for a period of time. I really just wanted a first-hand experience of what it would mean for me to one day maybe permanently move over here to Tanzania or maybe some other African country. Um, so I just wanted first-hand experience of what is regular life like here. I didn't want that over glamorized idea of homecoming or going back to Africa and how amazing it would be or the overly negative stereotypes about you know we all have flies on our crawling on our faces or we're all living in poverty and hunger I just wanted like my real experience firsthand what I would experience and see. another reason to why I chose to move to Tanzania was that I was really tired of my life in Sweden. I had just graduated my Masters of Business Administration. On the side of my studies, I was working part-time at one of Sweden's biggest banks uh, as a fraud analyst or a card fraud monitor. And I was just bored out of my mind. I was so sick of it. And I just felt like, is this it? I felt purposeless. I felt empty. I felt like I wasn't, I didn't know where I was going. I was literally having a quarter life crisis. I'm 25, soon 26, oh my God. And yes, I was having a quarter life crisis and I'm still kind of in it. And I just felt like I wanted more from life. I aspired to more. I, I dreamt of so much more. And having a nine to five job, there's nothing wrong with that. But I felt in my heart, like deeply in my soul that this, like banking is not for me. An office job, I don't think it's for me I don't want it at least right now I don't feel it and I just wanted to get away from that life like that consumerism capitalist lifestyle where it's all about like going to work getting you money spending it on nice stuff showing it off on social media I was sick of it I felt that there was more out there like I want to live a more purposeful life I wanted to have some type of legacy or leave something behind that has been on impact to people in some type of way and then i remembered my dream of coming to tanzania and i was like this is the time to do it before i have a family before i have any attachments like now is the time that i can do whatever i want to do whatever my heart desires i'm free to do that so some months before uh my graduation i bought myself a ticket <laughs> to tanzania i told my parents about it and uh, they were very understanding and supportive i just decided that this was going to be a time in my life where i'm going to search for adventures i'm going to bro broaden my horizon and i was going to dedicate this year to grow as a person growth really starts outside of your comfort zone so getting away from the familiarity of my friends in Sweden, my family in Sweden, the very familiar Swedish culture, the Swedish language, all of that that I just know that I have known since birth was I was just going to get away from that. And I feel like that would force me to elevate on so many levels. Uh, because even though I do have roots in Tanzania and I've been here several times, being here in an extended amount of time without my mom, without my sisters, it would just leave me really exposed. So I felt like 
that was something that I wanted to do for my own growth. Another big reason to why I moved to Tanzania is that I wanted to explore as many African countries as possible. I just had the idea like, okay, if I'm going to live in Tanzania for an extended period of time, then this is going to be the perfect time to move around the continent and see other African countries as well. because. You know, the rest of the world has a really skewed view of what Africa is. With my YouTube channel, I also wanted to be like another type of voice out there and show Africa in another light because I know that there is a lot of talent here, there's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of people don't know that. So I wanted to be a channel where I could showcase all, all of those hidden gems that we have here. And I also felt, why should I spend my money traveling to Greece, Italy, Spain, all of these places and put money in their pockets when for real they don't even treat our people the way they deserve to be treated? I would rather spend my money and put my money in the pockets of African entrepreneurs, African tourist bureaus, African airlines, etc. and contribute to their economic growth. And I also want to, again, showcase these countries so and maybe draw in other foreigners to contribute and put their money in African businesses as well. So one of the biggest reasons to why I came to Africa or Tanzania specifically is because I see so many opportunities uh, in, in Tanzania and Africa as a whole, business-wise. And I really just wanted to be in the midst of this growing economy, uh, in the midst of this growing, there's a growing middle class in Tanzania. There's so many things moving forward in rapid pace and I needed to be here when this happens because I want a piece of the cake and I want to be one of those people that contribute to that growth. Like I can look back and be like, yeah, I contributed to making my country a better place to live in. I wanted to come here and get a feel of what the market looks like, what is the demand, um, and I just practically wanted to see what it would take for me as a foreigner to do business in this country. I do hold a Swedish citizenship and Tanzania does not allow dual citizenships, so in the legal sense and very much in the cultural sense, I am, I am seen as a foreigner. And you know, there are some challenges with that, but I guess nothing is impossible. <laughs> So guys, those were most of the reasons to why I moved to Tanzania. I really hope that this helped some of you and that you guys feel maybe some inspiration to either visiting or maybe moving to an African country. Um, thank you so much for all of the views, the likes, the comments. I appreciate it so much. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider to subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.